Alright, so it's typical. I um go to do a little bit of work and help somebody out this morning. Sit down, make a coffee, no milk. And then while I'm sitting there having the coffee, I get a message off the missus. Your fridge arrived. So thanks to Snowy's. Um, what is it? Snowy's Outdoors and Camping or something? Snowy's.com.au. Um, the Waco CD30. Them and um, I think it's Temp World who are doing them, these fridges for $6.99. Other places were asking $8.50 or more. So, um, Temp World was saying delivery mid September. Whereas Snowy's seem to be doing one each month, so um, check Snowy's out. I haven't opened the box yet, as you can see. So gonna do that now, and then throw it in the back of the car. I've been dying for this to get in. Absolutely dying for this thing to turn up. So can't wait to check it out and get it in and get it cycling and cool down, get some beers in it. So far it feels, I think from the website it says there's about 18 kilos of weight in this fridge. So it's going to have a bit, a bit of weight to it. She's not going to be a light little thing, but shouldn't be too bad. One part's going to be trying to get it maneuvered around and that yourself. Actually that's not too bad. Most of the weight's in the compressor. Majority of the weight's definitely in the compressor, you can feel that when you lift it. Oh, that'd be alright, there's no actual plug on it. I thought it'd come with a 12 volt lighter socket, but there's actually no plug on there. That's a bummer. Um, I do have Anderson plugs. Wow. Okay. Um, do have Anderson plugs, but I really don't want to go messing around too much with that right at this second. So, I was expecting the 12 volt lighter socket to be on there. Uh, Um, gonna have to make some changes by the look of it because as I was expecting the 12 volt Anderson or uh, the 12 volt lighter plug that's what I've installed in the car so I'm gonna have to make a bit of a change by the look of it and take the lighter plug out and put an Anderson in place happy enough with the length of cord I've got which I probably want to extend that too because I've got to be able to get to things so, yeah, a bit of a bummer there, but that's alright. I'll get that installed tomorrow or something. So, we've got the Waco CD30. Slides out nice and easy, some mountain brackets. Little user menu. Actually feels quite nice. Um, yeah, quite happy with that. Just a bummer that I've got to modify the bloody plug, or put my own plug on. But again, I'll do that tomorrow or something. I've got other things to do today, so I can go in the back of the car, I'll show you where it's going to be seated, and test fit it. <coughs> Alright, so quick test fit. I'll put it in, leave it in for today, and then do everything I've got to do tomorrow. Should be nice and snug going in here. Nice and tight. And bloody easy access. So that's where she's going. 
That looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Alrighty, so I've taken the original 12 volt plug out. Um, I realise that the cord that I have is a little bit too short. The pad is a little bit too short. So I've ripped that out, replaced it with some more. Um, that's still sitting up near the fuse box here. It's not connected to anything. So this will give me a bit of room to play on that end. Um, pull it back through and then a little bit of off cut to that I might add to the fridge just to extend the cable on the fridge a bit more. Um, just about to solder the end some plugs in. Again, the fan will be connected to this so that'll be a constant running fan like it has been, same as it was with the 12 volt. Um, and the Anderson plug will sit just off to the side rather than in a hole. But should be alright. Fun part is getting a whole heap of solder into it. Um, getting that filled up and we'll be right. Alrighty, there we go. It's in. Uh, it's plugged in, turned on. Can't tell yet if it's actually running. The fan at the back spinning, so I'm guessing it is. It's only been on for a minute, so give it time to cool down. Um, had some issues with the Anderson plug. I just stuffed up one of the solders and wasn't getting voltage. But, otherwise it's all in. Nice, neat, tidy. And now to give it a run and get some beers in there.